I'm working on this cylinder assembly in Alibre, and I've had the question come up about how to project things into a sketch and what all the options are. So let's edit this part and create a sketch on this face and go through how and what the options are for projecting to a sketch, right? So if I select this face, I select project a sketch, uh, there's two kinds of sketch figures out there. There's driving geometry and construction geometry, also known as reference geometry. So if I create a line, and then I deactivate my sketch, right? I can extrude or loft or sweep or do other things with these solid sketch lines. This is as opposed to selecting a face. If I were to use my dotted lines or reference lines or construction lines and I try to make an extrude, I get the sketch is not valid because dotted lines are simply for referencing. They're not for creating features with. So I'll delete my sketch, come in here. So if I project my sketch and I click OK, right? We've, we're creating sketch figures and creating a sketch figure means creating the kind of sketch that will create geometry. And I import this whole face, then I have every edge of my face imported, all of the holes, the whole outside uh, border here, everything. And I can deactivate and extrude. And yeah, that works great. However, if I go back into my sketch, one thing about importing or projecting this sketch geometry is I can take these figures and just move them around. And so it is <clears throat> very easy to uh, be able to just move and mess up your sketch and then it probably won't be what you want. So I'll hit control A and delete everything. Instead, I can project a sketch and I have this option after I select my face to maintain association to source entity. And if I use, if I project that sketch with that option on, you'll notice now all my lines are black and I cannot click or drag them anywhere. In addition, if I go back into my history tree and I change the position of one of these holes, then this sketch should update with the new position of the hole. And so that's what we mean when we say maintain association to the geometry. Uh, it will update with anything that we change in the history tree and will also prevent me from clicking and dragging any of my sketch elements around. But what if I simply want to make more geometry and reference something? Well, let me uh, deactivate my sketch. In fact, I'll just delete my sketch and I'll sketch on this face. We'll highlight this face again. This time I'm going to project with create reference figure in place of create sketch figure. And I'll click on maintain association to source entity. And here we have all dotted lines. So I can reference the center of every single hole on this face. And, and that can be very helpful. So if I, for instance, wish to find the exact center between this hole and this hole, then I can reference these centers to do so, right? I can pull up my construction line and I can draw two lines that end at each hole center because I have those hole centers imported into my sketch now. And I can collect, collect these two lines for making them concentric. And then I can use equal. And now I have the exact center between these two holes and maybe I want to add a feature directly in between those holes. And then I can deactivate and I can do a little cut and maybe I want to go, maybe I want to go 0.01 or something like that, just to create a mild bottoming hole there. Why well, I can do that. So I'll click on this face and create another sketch. Now this time, maybe I want to project not a face or a feature of the part, but I'll project a sketch and I'll project the sketch that I just made, 57. And when I do that, when I project a sketch, I have this option to maintain figure type. And what that means is if I click OK, I maintain both my construction lines that I've made or my reference lines, and I also maintain my circle that I've made, which is driving geometry or geometry that I can create features with. 
And so I can maintain both kinds of um, geometry at the same time. So that's what maintain figure type means. It means leave the construction geometry as construction geometry and leave the driving sketch figures as driving sketch figures. This would be as opposed to if I project a sketch, I choose the sketch that I've just made and I say create sketch figure, then these come in as driving lines instead of construction lines, which could be helpful in certain cases. And likewise, if I choose to create a reference figure, then the circle and these lines would come in as reference figures and so on. Likewise, I have the option, if I import my very last sketch, maybe I want only this hole. Well, then I choose do not project reference figures and it ignores the two construction lines that I put in to position the hole and only imports the driving sketch of that hole. Maybe I'll exit my sketch. So now I have sketch 57, which is this hole and its construction lines. Then I have sketch 58, which is only this hole. Now if I create a new sketch and I project a sketch and I choose sketch 57, notice I have this option down here, delete source sketch and it's grayed out. And that's because sketch 57 is being used to generate this hole and so I cannot delete it. But I just made sketch 58 and if I go to project this sketch, I can delete source sketch here. And that's because I'm not using the sketch for anything so I can import it and delete it. And now if I deactivate my sketch, you'll notice sketch 58 is deleted and it's replaced by sketch 59. So you have the option to delete the sketch that you've just imported if it's not being used for anything. So this was an overview on how to project things into your sketch. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching and we can't wait to see what you make next. We'll see you in the next video.